What's going on, you too? It's your boy, Cam, ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody who's watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're gonna love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. A few things I want to talk about before we get straight into the high five. First thing, everybody who is who has who signed up for the DFS squad fantasy league. Um, if you guys have any, cause we're all like family, we all talk all day long on Twitter. If you guys have anybody you want to make sure you're in the league, uh, in the same, uh, league against, if you want to face somebody in the squad, if you've been wanting to beat somebody's ass in the squad, let me know who that person is so I can make sure I put you guys in the same league. Okay. Hit me up on Twitter at cam underscore ATL and let me know uh, who you want to be in that league with. All right. I'm going to be working on that. Um. This actually leads me to the second thing. On Friday and Saturday, I will be in the process of moving, okay? I will be moving on Friday and Saturday. So um, I've been trying to get out of it as much as I possibly can, but if I don't help on Friday and Saturday to move, my five foot four girlfriend is going to beat my ass. Even though she's a foot shorter, she scares the shit out of me. And everybody who has a wife or a serious relationship, you know what I'm talking about. Especially the short ones. They're like the most most ruthless ones. So I don't want to die. I have to help. I've been trying to avoid, but I got to help. On Friday and Saturday, we are officially moving into our new place. Upgrading. It is a blessing. I'm super happy. Uh, man, just like three years ago, I was living in my car. You know what I'm saying? So to now be able to upgrade and have an, a nice place, you know what I'm saying? It's It's a blessing and I love it. Um, so yeah, so on Friday and Saturday, I will be busy. So no lineups, subs, uh, I will not be sending out lineups for lineup subscribers, but I will on both those days, I'll be playing at least one lineup. I'll play one. So the one lineup I will, I will end up playing, I will post on my Twitter at Kim underscore ATL for the whole squad. Um, so yeah, so that covers that. Um, and then on Monday after, after the weekend, I will announce everybody's draft position for the DFS Squad Fantasy League. I'm going to announce the draft position and all that stuff, all right? So we'll be ready to officially go. You guys can start mock drafting at your positions, and uh, we can get straight into it, all right? Now, 100 likes. Let's do 150 likes on the video down below. If we get 150 likes on the video down below, I will make you guys a golf video. I will cover all of my favorite plays for the golf uh, coming up. We've got a huge, huge... Uh, contest going on for the golf uh, on Thursday morning so I will make a video um, if you guys want that I will make a video and post it um, tomorrow I mean I'm recording this right now on Tuesday but I will post it on Wednesday afternoon so everybody can go get that and I will also be posting my lineup for you guys the lineup I will be using okay I will be playing three lineups I'm not just going to be playing one lineup I will be playing a total of three and I will be posting uh, one of my lineups on my Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL. You guys see how it went last time, 580. And I'm expecting even more than that in this competition here. So I'm super excited about it. Um, I will have two other lineups that I'll be running. If you guys want those two uh, exclusive lineups, it'll be $10 for both of them, okay? Hit me up on Twitter. We can just set you up like that. I don't have an option on Greenlight DFS for it. If you want it, hit me up on Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL, and I'll set you up for it. Okay, and I'll send it to you Wednesday night. Okay, I will be posting that golf lineup for you guys. You guys have been holding it down, getting those hundred likes. I will be posting that golf lineup on my Twitter at cam underscore ATL tonight, Wednesday night. Okay, so you guys look forward to that. All right, let's get straight into the high five. First pitcher that I love on this slate, guys, is Garrett Cole. He's going against a team in Milwaukee that strikes out a lot, and he has done well against them the last two games he has faced them this year. Okay, if you look, he faced Milwaukee on the 19th and got 24.8. And then the per previous game he faced them, he got 27.4. So he's got their number. He's done very well. He's at home in Pittsburgh. I love Garrett Cole at 8,900. Run up Garrett Cole. He is in the high five. Milwaukee strikes out 9.4 times on average the last 10 games a game. So Garrett Cole is a good bet to get about six plus strikeouts and a good little outing here against Milwaukee. All right. Next pitcher that I absolutely love is Drew Pomeranz. I'm going two upper mid-tier pitchers here, guys. All right? 
the program, I'm looking at it right now. It's got DeGrom at the very top. I didn't want to pay 12-6 for it or put him in the high five because you guys know me. I like to give you guys a high five where you can make a very balanced lineup and have plenty of money left over. So DeGrom is a little expensive. And these two guys, Garrett Cole and uh, Drew Pomerantz, they're kind of mid-range guys. Uh, good price zones to where you can kind of get the hitting you want as well. All right. Both of these guys are facing teams that strike out a lot. Pomeranz is facing Toronto. Toronto strikes out and on average 8.5 times a game the last 10 games. Um, so I love Drew Pomeranz as well. Lock those guys in at your pitcher spots and you are ready to go. At first base, the one and only Lucas Duda. All right, Lucas Duda. He's made a few appearances to the high five throughout the year. He's got great power, man. He, if he gets a hold of one, he's going to send it. All right. He's got a 403 Woba versus hand pitching. All right. And Leak has a 321 Woba versus lefty. So I love Lucas Duda. He's going to have a tremendous game. And at 3,800, he's a steal at home in uh, New York. On average, the last five games, he's averaged 11.2 DraftKings points. That's a solid little amount of points on average. I expect him to hit a home run here. I am calling it right now home run from Lucas Duda. All right. Next up in the high five at second base, Jonathan Shoup. I expect big things out of him, man. We all know this guy comes out of nowhere and has huge games every once in a while. All right. He has huge games at random moments. He's going against Perez. All right. The lefty and Perez. Jonathan Shoup hits lefties well. Okay. He's been hitting lefties well. So I definitely expect him to have a good little outing here. All right. Run up Jonathan Shoup at home in Baltimore going against Perez, who gives up a lot of hard contact at 4,100. I love Jonathan Shoup, guys. All right. Last but not least, my main man, Andrew McCutcheon. I love Andrew McCutcheon here. All right. Andrew McCutcheon has got a ridiculous 5 50 Woba versus right-handed pitching. He's one of those reverse splits guys. All right. He hits very well against right-handed pitching. Andrew McCutcheon, 550 Woba. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's off the charts. That's great. All right. Run up Andrew McCutcheon. I am going to call a 20-plus DraftKings point performance out of Andrew McCutcheon here in the slate. I absolutely love him. Run him up. And that's it, guys. You got Garrett Cole. You got Drew Pomeranz. You got Lucas Duda. Jonathan Shoup, and Andrew McCutcheon. Those are my favorite plays of this slate. And you can, around these guys, you can put some good batters, man. You see there's $4,200 left to go off of. So that's plenty of money to make sure you have a very balanced lineup. All right? Now, I've got a list of guys here for you. The batters box. All of these guys have 10 or more at-bats. So they're not small sample size. They're good, solid sample sizes against the guys they will be facing, and I absolutely love these guys, all right? Find ways to match, put these guys into your lineup, okay? All right, here we go. Real quick, I want to mention, too, Texas is also on the other side of that ball, Baltimore. Kevin Guzman's pitching. You guys know how I feel about Kevin Guzman. He's been solid as of late, but that's going to come back down to reality, all right? Guzman's not that great, all right? He's going to get rocked eventually. Now, Texas has not been good on the road so far against Baltimore, so it could be a good game to actually play Guzman because he's one of those guys that doesn't get highly owned because he sucks. But the last few weeks, he's been actually doing decent. He's been getting his shit right. Texas has been garbage on the road, and Baltimore's been playing well lately. So definitely consider Kevin Guzman um, or consider the other way around. If you, if you think this is the game Kevin Guzman goes back to reality, stack up Texas. All right? So here we go. Jake Marisnik, Ian Desmond, Will Myers, Evan Longoria, Manny Machado, Mark Trumbo, Elvis Andrews, Joey Votto, Miguel Cabrera, Alex Gordon, Salvador Perez, and Andrelton Simmons. And that's it, guys. Good luck. I hope you absolutely fucking kill it, man. I'm excited about this golf Shit coming up, man. That millionaire maker, I'm ready to split that million with all of my squad. I don't give a shit. All right? I want to split it with all of y'all. All 2,000 of y'all. Over 2,000 of y'all. I want to split it all with y'all. So I don't give a shit. All right? 
<laughs> so let's get this money. Like the video down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. As always, go to greenlightdfs.com if you want to join the team officially. And I'm out.